But when we got to New York Harbor, we all got out, and my father started pointing out the Volkenkratzer, the skyscrapers, which I thought was the neatest thing. In retrospect, uh, I remember going by the UN building. I had no idea what it was, but it was a spectacular looking building from the East River. Um, everybody stared dutifully at the Statue of Liberty. It had absolutely no meaning to me. I was seven and a half years old. But it was a neat, you know, a neat statue. I'll, I'll grant you that. And uh, we were past the time in 51 of uh, Ellis Island was closed already. So we went directly to one of the East River docks in what was is still Hell's Kitchen. And we landed and my aunts, two aunts and uh, cousins uh, met us at the dock. We had the, I was more amused by the old time Jews who came and there's one man wanted to know was I surprised about seeing water coming out of the wall and I said what? I'd seen faucets all along. It wasn't like we were of the old people who came here in the, from the pump and the well and the, the Brinham and the uh, outhouses. I was used to toilets and all the modern electricity and all the modern fixings. I was more amused by the old line Jews who insisted we didn't know anything. And out here, you're talking about a seven and a half year old. I, I spoke Yiddish, I had spoken Russian. I understood Polish, I understood Romanian, because every, it was a polyglot, the DP can't figure out with that, and if, if I didn't understand them, I'd be lost. And we'd had Hebrew, oh yeah, in, in, in school, and, and then English, we all learned some English and German. I think I, I was acquainted with at least seven languages, and these, this Alta Cocker, pardon, was telling me, what? Water out of the wall? And to me, that was funnier than the Dickens, and I guess it still is in a way. Uh, but it illustrates the class of clash of cultures of the Eastern Europeans who came after the war versus the old line Americanized Jews who came during the Depression and earlier and so on.